you could get an instant answer to one cell biology question, what would it be? So I've always been fascinated by the unknown unknowns in biology. And my biggest wish would be to know what can cells do that we don't even have a clue that they can accomplish. And I think every couple of years we find out these unknown unknowns in biology and it's always very exciting. Could you share with us a mistake you've made in the lab that taught you a valuable lesson? I think the biggest mistakes that I've made were to take people into the lab that I felt in advance that wouldn't be a good fit for myself or, or for the lab, for the, for the personal interaction. And every time that I've done that, I've realized that a lab is like a living organism and you really have to take care to, to only take people in that would fit into this meshwork and really create an opti optimal environment for everyone so that everybody is gaining out of the human interactions that are occurring in the lab. What is the best piece of science-related advice that you have ever received? The first is from my PhD advisor, Nisim Benvenisti, who always told me that you should always work on the thing that most excites you, even if at the moment it doesn't excite other people. And another great advice I got from my postdoc advisor, Jonathan Weissman, who always said that one should only try to take on projects that if you manage to find an answer to your question, the answer would be very exciting. So the combination of these two has really guided the way that I do science in my lab. If you could fix one problem in academia, what would it be? It would be publishing. The way that scientific publishing currently works is not optimal for the progress of science. The aim would be to have information flow much faster, much more freely, and have science be judged by a large group of people for the actual science and its impact and not by a small group of people um, who determine the, the impact a priori before the science has had a time to go, had a time to go out and, and make a change. And so I think th this will be the big, the big issues that we need to deal with in the next couple of years.